Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Buy Smart, Live Smart, Sell Smart. Today we're talking about make or break versus preferences. In other words, what do I need in a home versus what do I want in a home? Now let's just jump right into it. Pinterest, home network channel, Instagram, social media, virtually gives us endless ideas of how to fantasize about a dream home. Necessarily not a bad thing. However, when it comes to actually buying a home, it can prove to be exhausting. And let's just leave it at that. But before I go any further, I want to make a public service announcement. I feel like no matter how many times I say it, people still ask me what the first step is. It's free. They'll pre-approve you and tell you with the emotions taken out of it how much you can afford in a home. Bonus tip, focus on the monthly mortgage payment, not the price of the home. Back to what this video is about. I typically run into two different types of clients and I currently have two different types of clients. The ones who take my advice right off the bat versus the ones who take my advice later down the road. The ones, the second type of clients that take my advice later down the road, they usually find themselves exhausted, emotionally drained, and it's not a fun sight. So this secret, it comes a lot more naturally to the first types of home buyers um, because they typically tend to be the ones that are experienced who have owned a home in the past. But it's to create a list. Think of yourself going to the grocery store. If you guys were going on a hungry stomach and you didn't have a list. So creating a list of must have or make or breaks will allow the home buyer to objectively say, okay, Here's what I need. This home, even though it has potential, doesn't have number or item number three and item number five. So I'm not gonna even consider it even though it looks immaculate and amazing. Couple examples of make or break items that my clients have asked me to put into their criteria is a three car garage. To some people, that's a wish list item. RV parking is another one. Some people have a boat or they actually own an RV, so that's a must have. An easy one is three bedrooms, no less than three bedrooms, maybe because they have two or three kids. So those are a few examples of must-haves and make or break items. Two things it'll do for you. It'll save you time, money, and energy. And two, it'll help your agent find with quicker precision exactly what you're looking for. So please take my advice, create that list just like you're going to the grocery store. Um, on a hungry stomach. I know when it's, you're first starting out, it can get exciting, but that can quickly turn into something very exhausting, very energy draining, very emotionally taxing. So create that list, stick to it, and let's find you a home. So if this was helpful, please tag or comment the name of the person that comes to mind when I say zoo animals. Go on YouTube if you're not on YouTube already. Hit that subscribe button, click that bell so it alerts you whenever I put on new videos. And always remember, share knowledge, share network, and share compassion. Appreciate you guys.